We visited in Cafe, a Peruvian bakery located in Great Neck, New York. The place has indoor and outdoor seating. The, the decor looks modern. It has some spots for photos. Uh, the sweets. Well, the sweets were the best part. So many to choose from, all Peruvian made by Peruvian people. The owner was able to answer some of my questions before the service. So I hope you guys can enjoy the video. Hi, my name is Marjorie Moreno and I'm the owner of Incafe. Hi, my name is Blanca Moreno and I'm her sister. <laughs> and this is Incafe, right? And this is specialized in... Peruvian dessert? Peruvian dessert. And cuisine. Okay, that's great. And you guys recently opened, right? We've just been open officially a week. Yesterday, uh, Saturday was a week. Saturday a week? Anniversary. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that was great, a week. And in this week, you had a lot of customers already, right? That's what I heard. Yeah, it was crazy. We've been beyond blessed already have some usual customers. Some that come in every single day, some multiple times a day, yeah. breakfast, and then they get their dinner later, <laughs> and a little snack when they're going home. What would you say has been the greatest challenge for you, you know, to run a business? It's not knowing. Like, I was so new to this, I'm 24. There's Oh, I'm 24, there's so much I don't know, and everything is just, I've been learning it, this has been a whole new experience for me, and just knowing that it's okay to ask for help, and this village has been amazing, and we've been so blessed for people to be like helping and like wanting us to grow and wanting us to succeed, we've been blessed in so many aspects. And I, I, I realize when people see you young and wanting to be better, like they're, they're very eager to help you. Yeah, I also want to throw in, neither of us had any restaurant experience. No one in the family has ever worked in a restaurant before, so this whole like adventure has been like completely brand new. So we all used to work in a hospital, so it's kind of something we like threw into because, you know, we were chasing her dream. And, you know, it was really nice that we all went along with Great. Now, let's move a little bit to, you know, what are the, the challenges about opening a restaurant? I think it still feels surreal. It's like, sometimes it feels like we're role playing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> But it's amazing to see like everyone come and support. Like my family has been incredible. Like they're here every day. They come and just check up on us to see if we're okay, if we need help. And just seeing that like, it's such a beautiful thing to see. Like they say it takes a village to raise a kid. And like this village has given that. Like I remember the first day I went in, I didn't know even how, like what paper I needed or whatever. And like they've helped me along the way. Like they'll email me if they'll be like, Marjorie, you need this, you need that. And it's so nice to see, like, they want to see me grow. They want to help me. And, like, everyone from here, they know us by names now. We have loyal customers. And it's, we've only been here for a week, so just imagine, what, you know, how it's going to go. It's, it's seeing it come to life and seeing, like, your baby grow. <laughs> yeah, oh, that, that's, uh, that's amazing. Uh, and for you, what, what has been the, you know, the, the fun part? Because well, I, never been, I know you've been helping her yeah, I in the way. Yeah, it's really hectic sometimes. And it's only me and her in the front, so sometimes it gets, like, very overwhelming, like, when you have a full house, but then when you have like some downtime and everyone's taken care of, it's so like beautiful to look back and just be like, wow, you know, like we're doing this and we're, you know, we're bringing people the Peruvian like atmosphere and like a, a good friendly like place to be at. And it's really nice that we're able to provide that. And for a lot of Peruvians in the area, they didn't have something like this where that they could come to and like have like their favorite food or, you know, dishes from home. So it was really nice that we could bring that for them. Um, first of all, I heard you call them craft cookies, but in Peru or Peruvian people know them as alfajores. Yeah. yeah. Uh, what was the name, craft cookies? <laughs> of the <laughs> counter thing. <laughs> Once you have one, you cannot stop. <laughs> yeah, that's true. You know, alfajores are, are really, really good. To be honest, I'm a fan of alfajores. So um, I want to ask you to show us the inside. Maybe, you know, to this camera here, we can show the inside yes, a little bit. Course. So it has dulce leche in the middle, and it's a butter biscuit cookie. And it's so good, it literally melts in your mouth. Yeah, that looks really good over there. Um, that was great. So this cookie basically started your business with this. This is the... Yeah, this was the beginning. This is the beginning. Yeah, yeah. And I have photos, I don't a photo of me when I was like 12, just rolling out the dough. And it's like, <laughs> who would have thought that the, that would have started all of this, you know? Okay, that, 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 that is great. That is great. This is a great sample of how something so little as an alpha core can turn into a business yeah. that is amazing that's an amazing story this is the lomo saltado yeah. right and you can tell here it's really juicy 
you know, uh, we have some footage of the of the food being cooked. This is really nice. It has a lot of sauce. It's not dry. Most places serve it like really dry, but this is really yeah. Believe me, more like dry satel and lomo satel. But this is really really good. And then you also guys serve it with this. This is sort of like. Uh, so this is rocotto and this is crema de rocotto. So this is like spicy. Really spicy, right? And this tastes more like a chipotle and it has a lot of flavor. Greenville compared to like chipotle sauce, but okay. I'm feeling a little bit brave today, so I'm gonna go with this. Just a tiny bit here. Only for that that's not spicy. <laughs> and um, let's try one of the meat. The chef is amazing. Yeah, I, I got to tell you that this is really good. It tastes like a lomo saltado, how it's supposed to taste. And it's not missing anything and it's really juicy. That, that's the best part. It's really juicy. And the, actually the spicy sauce, it's perfect. You know, I wouldn't say it's that spicy, so you can add more. Oh, great, great. Thank you very much for this. Thank you, thank you for letting us, you know, being in your restaurant today. Thank you for having me. No, no, no worries. And um, it was a pleasure. Then this was in Cafe Bakery. Definitely a place you have to try. It has a lot of desserts, uh, some nice dishes over there, like Gomo Saltado. And well, check it out. This was Brandon for Chewing Happiness. I'll see you next time.